2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica review, hitting the sweet spot. Age has not wearied it, nor the years condemned. The 5.2-liter V10 that powers the 2023 Lamborghini Huracan Technica may trace its origins back to a time when the iPhone was an idea and Amazon a work in progress, but one full throttle acceleration run, one hot lap of a racetrack, one flat-out blast along a challenging back road is enough to convince you, it's one of the all-time greats. An engine for the supercar gods. It roars and bellows and shrieks and snarls, this engine, performing a heroic horsepower opera that's neither muffled by turbos nor synthesized by electric motors, and it punches harder than Tyson Fury in a bad mood. It's the reason the Technica will be wistfully remembered when we're all whooshing around in mega-horsepower EVs. But it's not the sole reason. The genius of the Huracan Technica is simple, though its execution is rather more nuanced. The Technica combines the 631 horsepower and 417 LBFT version of the V10 from the edgy, track-focused Huracan STO with a rear-drive, rear-steer chassis that's been tuned for all-around roadwork. The cabin can be trimmed with the most luxurious materials in the Lamborghini catalog and offers all the connectivity and functionality expected in a modern car, from Apple's CarPlay to Amazon's Alexa, controlled via a redesigned user interface that will also call up arcane nuggets of performance data on demand. All that is wrapped in bodywork massage to give the Technica a longer, lower profile, a visually wider stance, and more sophistication to its menace. Think Tyson Fury in a Zegna suit. There's a new front bumper with the black Y-shaped graphic derived from the wild Terzo Millennio concept. The revised greenhouse riffs on that of the limited edition, track only a Senza SCV12. At the rear is a reshaped bumper and diffuser, and the lower edges of the rear fenders have been pulled inward to expose more of the rear tires. Two massive hexagonal exhaust outlets hint at the bellicose ferocity lurking in the engine bay. Both the front and rear hoods are carbon fiber, the latter with a clear section that exposes the top of the V10, and both contributing to a 22-pound reduction in weight over the Huracan EBO RWD. A vertical rear window nestles between the flying buttresses that extend rearward over the air intakes. There's improved function in the new form, too. The new front bumper design incorporates an air curtain and directs air through the front wheel wells to increase downforce and improve brake cooling. The fixed rear wing is a major contributor to the 35% increase in rear downforce compared with the Huracan EVO RWD, along with a 20% reduction in drag. Compared with the Manic STO, it only takes a mile or so behind the wheel to understand that the Technica is a kinder, gentler Huracan. The revised suspension means the ride won't shake the fillings from your teeth and it's nowhere near as noisy at cruising speeds on the freeway, especially with the car in the softest of its three drive modes, Strata, and the seven-speed dual-clutch transmission left in auto. But that's just the velvet glove over the iron fist. Thumbing the little button at the base of the third spoke on the steering wheel into sport mode gives the powertrain a triple shot of espresso. Throttle response is sharper, and shift time shorter. And the electronics that control the car's adaptive shocks and the rear steer, traction control, and torque vectoring systems get a revised set of orders from the Lamborghini Dinamica Veicolo Integrata LDVI, system, with its accelerators and gyroscope sensors at the Technica's center of gravity that monitor lateral, longitudinal and vertical loads, as well as body roll, pitch, and yaw. The result is a car that feels more urgent, more focused, and yet more playful, willing to oversteer if you want a showboat on the track, but still possessed of terrific traction and stability when you need it. Corsa mode isn't quite the spinal tap experience it is in the Huracan STO, but the Technica with its race face on is still a weapon on the track, especially when equipped, as our test cars were for the lapping sessions, with the optional Bridgestone Potenza race tires, which are treaded in street legal but, as Lamborghini engineers coyly put it, are for dry roads. In Corsa, the powertrain is calibrated to provide optimized track-oriented throttle response and the fastest gear shifts, and the omniscient LDVI instructs its electronic minions to deliver maximum lateral and longitudinal grip. Part of the Corsa protocol includes locking the rear steer system. Shutting down what is pitched as a dynamic driving aid might seem slightly counterintuitive, but it delivers purer, more precise handling at the limit. If you're good enough.
That's not to say the Harakon Technica will throw you under the bus if you get things wrong. It won't, this is as sweet a Lembo at the limit as has ever been built. But as in the Huracan GT3 race car, nailing a truly quick lap time means finding the balance between the vivid front-end response and the rush of power and torque to the rear wheels when get on the gas. Yes, the LDVI is there, working furiously in the background to support you, and it's nowhere near as fine a balancing act as in the race car. But this subtly analog element to taming the Technica, the sense that extracting the last little bit of the car's performance is down to you, is a big part of this Lembo's appeal. You can use Corsa mode on the road, of course, but Sport is the best all-round setup for a blast through the twisties. There's a little more support from the traction and stability control useful when you can't see that greasy patch around the next corner and the rear steer system delivers both agility and stability. The direct ratio steering, uncorrupted by a driven front axle, is a joy, precise and communicative, with just the right amount of waiting. Priced at $239,000, the Technica is the sweet spot of the Huracan lineup. It gives you nearly all the thrills of the borderline silly STO in a mature, grown-up supercar you can realistically drive every day. This Huracan is a feel-good Lamborghini, one that makes you smile every time you hit the gas. It's also a Lamborghini that feels like the end of an era. An all-new Huracan replacement is scheduled to appear at the end of 2024. It's rumored to be powered by a mild hybrid twin-turbo V8. Oh, it will undoubtedly be better supercar than the Technica by any objective measure, quicker, with even more confidence-inspiring handling. But we'll miss the 5.2-liter V10 sound and fury. Especially the sound. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.